That's right, Fox 11's meteorologist Phil DeCastro is going to break down all of the ways that this past winter made local history. It's hard to break down all the ways that this winter was remarkable and unusual, but it's probably best to start with the basics. For the meteorological winter, which is the months of December, January, and February, our average temperature came out to 30.7 degrees. That is by far the warmest winter on record. It's 3.1 degrees clear of our second warmest winter, and I know that doesn't seem like much in a vacuum, but that's bigger than the gap between the second warmest winter and the 14th warmest winter. So we blew the overall average temperature record out of the water. We also saw the most days with a high of 40 degrees or higher in Green Bay. We saw 36 of those and second place saw just 29. That's another huge gap, historically speaking. We saw the most 50 degree days as well. We had 12 of those, nearly twice the second place winter, which only saw seven. And we recorded the first and only 70 degree day on record in Green Bay in meteorological winter. We hit 70 on the nose on February 27th. And yet again, it blew past the prior record high for the winter season. That was just 65 degrees. So no matter what way you look at it, the temperatures this past winter might not be rivaled for some time to come. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News.